Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make four different toners, an antioxidant green tea toner for all skin types, an alpha arbutin brightening toner for all skin types, an exfoliating enzyme toner for oily skin, and a skin repair peptide toner for dry immature skin types. My personal favorite is the skin repair peptide toner, so let me know down in the comments which one is your fave. If you're new here, hey, my name's Tara. I make videos about formulating skincare products and selling skincare products. If you're interested in that sort of content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified about my next upload. I also sell my own products over on my Etsy shop. You can use code YouTube for 20% off. We're gonna be starting with the most basic toner, the green tea toner. And if you're not familiar with formulas and how they work, go watch the entire Formulating for Beginners series. Starting with phase A, we're using 116.9 grams of distilled water. Then I'm adding in 60 grams of witch hazel hydrosol. And then here comes the green tea extract. This helps even skin tone. It's a powerful antioxidant, helps brighten skin, and it can help calm irritation. I added in four grams. Then for the preservative, I'm using one gram of Liquid Dermal Plus. This preservative is super easy to work with, great for beginners. Watch my video all about preservatives. Then four grams of DL Panthenol. This helps improve skin's hydration, elasticity, and appearance, soothes skin, hydrates and moisturizes skin, and it helps prevent transepidermal water loss. And this powder dissolves super easily. Moving on to phase B, I'm starting with 14 grams of propendiol. This is a humectant, it helps hydrate the skin, but I'm specifically using it in a separate phase to help hydrate the hyaluronic acid. This is ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. It helps plump skin, it reduces fine lines and wrinkles, it hydrates the skin, and it's actually naturally found in our skin. We just lose hyaluronic acid as we age, so it's great to add some back in through our skincare products. And mixing it with the propendiol helps it hydrate in the water quicker. So once the hyaluronic acid is mixed into the propendiol, pour the phase B into phase A, give it a mix until everything's combined, and now we can go ahead and check the pH. Now I've covered pH in my Formulating for Beginners series already, so I'm not gonna go over it because there's so much to talk about that it would make this video way too long. So please go watch my video all about pH. It's linked in the description box. All the equipment, everything I use, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box. I always get questions about where to buy things. It's always in the description box. This green tea toner is great for all skin types. It hydrates and replenishes the skin after cleansing, helps restore skin's natural pH level, rich in antioxidants. You can use it in the AM and PM, and you can apply it using a cotton round. Moving on to the next, this is a brightening toner for all skin types. Again, if you don't understand how formulas work and how to transfer them into recipes, go watch my Formulating for Beginners series. Starting with phase A, 164.6 grams of distilled water, followed with eight grams of niacinamide. This is also known as vitamin B3. It can help brighten the skin, help minimize the appearance of pores, even skin tone, reduces inflammation, and enhances the overall appearance of skin. Then one gram of alpha arbutin. This is one of the main brightening ingredients. It's super popular. It can help improve your skin tone, minimize dark spots, and it won't lighten your natural skin tone, only spots that have darkened over time. Then I'm gonna add in some alpha floor giga white. This is an eco cert skin brightener. It can minimize dark spots. Again, it won't lighten your natural skin. And if you use this, you can leave out the arbutin or vice versa and I added in six grams of it. Here comes another brightening ingredient, but this is an extract, licorice root extract. It also helps soothe the skin, and I'm gonna be using four grams of it. You can use a different extract of choice if you don't have this one. Then just mix it all together. Then we can start working on phase B, which includes 14 grams of propendiol. And the reason we have this phase separate is so we can mix the propendiol with our preservative, Uxal K903, which is an EcoCert certified preservative, but it doesn't mix in watery solutions very well. So we have to mix it with some kind of solvent like propendiol first, and then pour it into the phase A. So the preservative is evenly mixed in. Now it's time to check and adjust the pH again. My natural pH is 4.41. That is too low. Since we are using niacinamide, it needs to be in a pH around six. Not exactly six, but around six. 
And since I'm using Uxal K903, which is only active in pHs up to six, I need to make sure my pH is six or a little bit below. And I ended up with 5.7, which is perfectly fine. It's close enough to six, but it's not over six. This toner is great for all skin types, helps brighten the skin, minimizes dark spots and pigmentation, helps protect skin from free radicals. You can use it in the morning and night, and you can apply using a cotton round. Moving on to the next toner, the Papaya Enzyme Exfoliating Toner. Once again, I keep saying this, if you don't know how formulas work, please, please go watch my Formulating for Beginners series because I explain everything you need to know there. All ingredients, equipment, everything will be linked down below. All right, phase A, we're making a 200 gram batch just like all these toners. And I started with 150 grams of water. Then I'm using 20 grams of lavender hydrosol, followed with four grams of henna extract. Then six grams of willow bark extract. This is an exfoliating ingredient. Four grams of papaya enzyme, which is another exfoliating ingredient. Mixing it all together. Then adding in four grams of DL panthenol and mixing that to dissolve. We talked about DL panthenol earlier, but here are the benefits of DL panthenol again, in case you forgot. Now we can work on phase B, which again is going to include 10 grams of propendyl. And again, we're mixing the two grams of Uxal PE9010, different preservative, but kind of the same name. We're mixing the Uxal PE9010 with the propendyl to help it mix into the formula evenly. If you don't, the Uxal PE9010 will just like settle on top of the toner. So pour the preservative and the propendyl into your phase A, mix it in, and then you're good to go. That's about it for that toner. It was pretty quick. And I'm just checking and adjusting pH again. You want a pH between 4.5 to 5.5 since there's no ingredient like, like niacinamide that wants like a specific pH. So we're gonna go ahead and lower the pH. And again, guess what? I have a video all about pH that you probably should go watch if you don't know how to adjust the pH level. I got the pH to 5.24 which is perfect because it's right at our skin's natural pH level. Alrighty, so this toner is great for oily skin types. It will gently exfoliate your skin, helps clear complexion, balances oil production. You wanna use it in PM only because it can make your skin more sensitive to the sun and you can apply using a cotton round. Now moving on to my absolute favorite, the Skin Repair Peptide Toner. My skin has been loving this. I've actually just been applying it with the palms of my hands, no cotton round, and my skin is just drinking this up. Starting with phase A, 146.5 grams of distilled water, then 20 grams of rose hydrosol. This can help reduce redness, improve complexion, and it's great for dry and mature skin. Then one gram of Liquid Dermal Plus. This is honestly the easiest preservative to use in toners. It just mixes right in. You don't have to mix it with like propendyl or glycerin first like I did in the last two toner recipes. Then I'm adding in four grams of DL panthenol because if you guys remember, this is an ultra hydrating ingredient. It's a vitamin B5, it soothes the skin and it helps prevent trans epidermal water loss. Perfect for this formula. It's actually perfect for everybody's skin and hair. So I'm actually gonna grab this watch glass. I'll have these linked down below. People are always asking me what they're called to weigh out the 0.4 grams of sodium carbamer. This is a pre-neutralized synthetic polymer it gels and thickens water. And if you slowly add it to the water, it'll prevent clumping. I just added mine all in. Um, it will eventually unclump as you just keep mixing it and if you're patient. But if you slowly add it, you can reduce the clumping. Just keep mixing it in until all the clumps go away. There's all kinds of different carbomers. This one specifically, I'll link to down below. I like it because you don't have to adjust the pH using this carbomer. Other carbomers, you actually have to raise the pH in order to get it to gel. So I just personally find this one to be easiest to work with. Now that the carbomer is mixed in, you have this beautiful gel consistency. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. You could use xanthan gum here if you want, but I personally don't think the sensory feel is as good compared to carbomer. So do whatever you want. You could also use Sepamax then, whichever you prefer. Now I'm gonna add in two grams of hexapeptide one ECT. This is a peptide. It's great for a variety of anti-aging benefits, improves skin hydration, and improves skin tone. Then I'm using four grams of marshmallow extract. This softens the skin, it's conditioning, and soothes the skin. 
Then I'm adding in four grams of Viola Tricolor Extract. This is anti-inflammatory, improves skin hydration, and it helps boost hyaluronic acid. That's the whole reason I wanted to add it into this. So here is what the consistency looks like now. It has thinned up a little bit because we've added in more ingredients. I'm just gonna keep adding in more. I'm gonna add in four grams of vegetable collagen. This is a plant-derived alternative to regular collagen. It's anti-aging and it improves the skin's elasticity. So set phase A to the side, grab a container for phase B, and we're gonna add in 14 grams of propendial. So we're doing the propendial separate in phase B because we are using ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid again. I mentioned this earlier, helps plump the skin, hydrate the skin. It, hyaluronic acid is amazing for the skin. And mixing the hyaluronic acid with the propendial helps it mix into the water so much easier. So now we are pouring phase B into phase A and mixing. Now we can go ahead and check and adjust the pH again. So the pH is 6.19. Our skin's natural pH is 4.5 to 5.5, but we are using sodium carbamer in this and we can't really lower the pH with that or else it'll thin out. Don't worry, this won't dry out your skin or irritate it. It's still close enough to our skin's natural pH. Keep in mind, water has a pH of seven. So this toner is great for dry and mature skin. It's ultra hydrating and it moisturizes the skin, helps improve the skin's barrier. It's anti-aging. You can use it AM or PM. And I personally like to apply it just with the palms of my hand. I pour it into my hand and then just pat it into my skin gently and keep patting until it dries. But you can totally use a cotton round if you want. Cause the perk of this is that when you pour it on a cotton round, it just kind of sits on the top and it doesn't like bleed through to the back. So you're not wasting product and it just glides on the skin so easily compared to all the other toners, which just really saturate a cotton round and you kind of end up wasting product that way. But you can apply any of these toners any way you would like. You can also thicken any of these toners so you can apply them with the palms of your hand if you want. Whatever you can do, have fun modifying and recreating these formulas to be unique to your skin type, your skin concerns, and any other issues you wanna target. Make sure you go watch my entire Formulating for Beginners series. Check out my channel for all the other recipes and content that I've shared. Also go follow me over on Instagram and I will talk to you guys next time. Later. I'm